I was about three that I three that I remember oh. this, and um, it was it was our dog food, <laughs> and I had, can remember it was Gaines Burgers. I remember the flavor very specifically. So that was my first intro to uh, feeding myself. Of course, set the set the path to becoming a food writer. Obviously. <laughs> More ketchup, please. My name is Walker, I am 12 years old. My name is Addison, and I am also 12 years old. And what are we going to cook today? Um, Zuni's pasta with tuna. Do you want to tell me who your mom is? Ah, uh, he's a cook. Yeah. Amanda Hesser. Should we have her come into the kitchen too? Yeah. Hi. Where would you guys like me to stand? Maybe off to the side here? While you guys yeah. All right. I'm Amanda Hesser, and I'm co-founder and CEO of Food52. I'm also mom to Walker and Addison. I'm two minutes older. Keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start? Yeah, let's go. Do you want a zest over here so Walker can chop the capers? I'm going to lovingly watch you zest the lemon. <laughs> Maybe I can pull a, how about I pull yeah. a clove out of this for you Two. guys? Two? Mm -hmm. Okay, great, thank you. Do you want to tell us why you why you like this recipe? It just has like a lot of good things. I really like tuna, and then I like pasta a lot, and the sauce that goes with it, sort of like the olive oil and stuff, it has a lot of flavor. It packs mm -hmm. well too, right? Like yeah. it doesn't get all like soggy or? No, it doesn't. Walker, why do you like it? Mm, tastes good. <laughs> do you want to tell them like how you guys do the your cooking for the week? Um, so every other weekend we switch off making the food and we decide like on Friday night so then our mom orders food and then we make the food usually on Sunday and then we switch off so whoever made whomever made it um, packs the food on Tuesday and Thursday and whoever didn't packs it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then we switch off every week. They started making their own lunches this year. I used to make the lunch for them. And last year we did. And well, actually last year we did do the school lunch, and that did not go over so well. So we're, so I said, well, you could, we can make, you can have homemade lunches, but you guys um, are gonna need to make them, and I'll, I'll teach you some dishes. So we've been um, learning to do some dishes that you can do kind of in bigger batches, and that last for the week. Not good. Um, tasty. And they're tasty and that are everyone likes equally. <laughs> you guys now empty the dishwasher, you do the dishes after dinner. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to write a column about the lunches that I would pack for these guys when they were in elementary school. And I look back and I think, wow. I don't know, I, they were pretty ambitious. I did a lot of different kinds of sandwiches because they were easy for when you were littler to like kind of pick up. And um, I would do different kinds of cookies and I would do different kinds of like uh, chips or snacks or you know cut vegetables. And then I used to photograph them on, often like on a baking sheet or something in the window and, and write, write about them. They changed schools and then they, the school had a lunch program. And so I was like, well, how about we do a year where we, we just do the school lunch? And so we did that and that did not go over super well. So the big challenge I think going forward is just trying to make sure that we keep trying new things and keeping it fresh. My goal, <laughs> my personal goal is by the time they're going to college, they really know how to make like a broad range of, of different kinds of dishes. Lemon zest goes in first. Yep. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to do the fennel seeds? Oh, you want me to do it? Okay, is it one or two teaspoons, do you remember? It's a quarter. Quarter? quarter. Oh, yeah. okay. And then it's one not? half teaspoon of table flakes. Right, but I think we put in, I usually think we just do like a big pinch because we don't want it too spicy, right? Yeah. Do yeah. you want to do that? But you do. Okay. But not that. All right. And then do you want to, I think we put that in too. Yeah. The bay, bay leaf. So now we get the stir. Yeah. yeah. It smells good already. <laughs> what? Time. <laughs> Chew the dramatic <laughs> inhale. Ooh. Is there a place I could put this? Like, oh. You can put it on the counter, that's okay. Okay. 
you can see I've, I've trained her well. But <laughs> no putting oily spoons on the counter. Must have a spoon rest. When they were really young, <laughs> I had, I would say, unreasonable expectations <laughs> for what, like how neat children should be in the kitchen. And I was like, what, you don't understand dipping and sweeping your flour? And so I think I have, I actually probably have, uh, it's more that I've learned to meet them where they are and also to um, kind of figure out what they like doing in the kitchen, like he likes chopping. And so if we're gonna cook together, I try to find opportunities for him to do that. Addison really loves being creative in the kitchen. And I, in the beginning, I would say like years ago, I would be very focused on like, well, let's follow the recipe because I want to teach you how to make this thing. She just wanted to be creative. And so I think I'm, I've learned to um, let her go her own way. And also, I think we sort of may ask less questions, although there's usually 10 every time we cook, but <laughs> instead of having you in there when we cook lunches, you're just sitting at the kitchen table and we're asking you questions. Yeah, so, yeah, you're much more independent you, in the kitchen, like, which is fun. It's nice to see you. Yeah. You're a very organized cook, I find. Yeah. And also, he's like very efficient, like to spend his time in the kitchen wisely doesn't just hang around. So I'm usually listening to music when I'm following recipes, right, at home, because I'm like, just get through this. But then, I mean, this is fun, obviously. But like, I, I enjoy having my friend Ellen over, and we like do bake-offs, so we have like three ingredients that we have to include, and then like no recipe, and it's really fun. There was this lasagna that my mom made, sorry, no offense, like a year ago, and it smelled like vomit. <laughs> it had all this weird cheese. Oh, it was so good. I don't even remember which one that was. It was like all. It was, didn't have any. It didn't have any tomato again. sauce, and it was all cheese. And so me and my dad, I would look at him. I was like, Do you smell vomit? Oh, that. Oh, or that was just one. me. <laughs> that was. <Okay>. No offense. <laughs> I like your other lasagna. Like just, the other ones are really good. Acting. But like that, that one, good. I just, I was like, No. It didn't smell no. like vomit. I didn't like my It smells like cheese. Oops. There you go. Oops. Keep on shaking it. <laughs> Get out that last one. Ah, oh, oh, it's stuck. Here, Moody. Here you go. You can toss it in. Want to give that a stir? Oops. Ooh, now it's now that now we're cooking with gas oh, okay. or induction. I'm thinking we should start adding maybe the capers and the pine oh, nuts. Yeah. Here we go. Can I toss it? Go to yeah, sure. Yeah, you guys think you can each do a jar, you wanna? Mm-hmm. Oops. There you go. That's good. A little oil is not nothing wrong with that. Um, sometimes with this pasta you guys will stick in some greens too, right? Yeah, like when we're making variations of it. Yeah. And we'll put in like spinach. I think also you like sometimes you'll even toss like a broccoli in or some kind yeah. of yeah. or asparagus. You don't, now you don't like asparagus? No, it's, never mind. It's you who usually talks about asparagus. Oh. <laughs> she like usually cooks with the same bowl of this and then it has more taste for the pasta, but then the pasta water is green, so. Oh yeah, so sometimes when they're cooking, the, when they're heating the pasta water, I'll use it to blanch some things before they put the pasta in. So they're not super fond of, but I'm, you know, I'm just, it's my eco-friendly way of life. And then, at this point, you can sort of turn the heat off, right? You're, just, you're essentially just heating the tuna through. Oh, well, we need to wedge the tuna right? apart. Yes. Gently nudge it. Gently nudge it. Gently mm -hmm. nudge. For holidays, we make cookies together and enjoy doing that. We made these um, crackers, these cheese crackers earlier this year, mm -hmm. and they were really good. My favorite thing to make is we make pies sometimes, like on Thanksgiving, I think. Yeah. Like, was the last time. I like making, we, we make like the designs on the top, kind of. I think that's fun, so, yeah. What kind of design do you like to do? I think my favorite is when we do the, I don't know what it's called, it's like the- The lattice? Slashes, yeah. The lattice? Yes. The, yeah. lattice. Oh. the lattice. Oh, the lattice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We did a lattice actually last yeah. time. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, do you want, if you can, try to show, show the camera, maybe? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think in that bowl, you might want to do sort of, yeah, like almost salad, like, there you go. That looks great. Got it. Next. Nice. 
beautiful. You have to taste it after you make it before you pack it up. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. it's very important. <laughs> okay. Hot. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Nice work. <laughs> I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do what they, a little smooch on camera. <laughs>